Good morning, good afternoon. I just wanted to take a moment and showcase a new feature that will be coming out in the next release. This feature is called Geometry Selections or Geometry Features. What this feature does is it replaces the current method of uh, contour selections. So let me take a look at what we have currently. So this is in current production, so this is what the general user is seeing. We are given these boxes for contour mode. This is in 2D contour and contour selection. We can make additional selections if we desire, and they're lumped up into this box. If we want to edit one of these for whatever reason, let's say I don't want to grab this there, we can click on it and we're given this small box, and I can remake my selection. And then hit the plus key and we're good to go. So this is the current method. I'm going to get an alarm because my heights are not set properly. Let's hop over to the, the future. And uh, let's see. There we go. Let's look at the same toolpath. And now instead we are given this box here where the selections still remain the same, so hovering over anything will give me the related uh, contour edge. But now instead of piling it all into one box, it's now populating in a box here. The beauty of this is that I can say I want a longer extension on, on this feature here, but I don't want to affect anything there. We also get to see that our contour, our extension lengths are shown as a, uh, a shadow of what it's going to be. Let's change our heights proper. Selected contours. There we go. Alright, so why is this better? So it gives us additional it gives us additional controls. It gives us the ability to change the characteristics, the behavior of each contour that we select if we wish. Uh, the downside is that currently there's no global change, so if I wanted to have everything with you know, a small extension, I, I would have to uh, adjust each one individually. Where it really becomes nice is that now, let's take a look at, let's create a pocket. So we're going to create a pocket, and we're going to, oops. So I've created my pocket. I'm using a 3 8 flat. Beautiful. That's nothing different than what you folks are doing currently. Now let's say I want to create another one with a finish tool. So let's go to... Let's use this one. Now instead of reselecting everything, all I have to do is expand the prior toolpath and I've selected those same features. So, in some cases, I made an error there. There we go. So in some cases, um, the selections are pretty simple and doesn't really benefit you any, but if you're making a whole bunch of complex selections with multiple chains and faces and whatnot, you can capture all of that data into this little node that now exists here. And if you notice that prior, I had a toolpath that was doing this whole, and uh, once I changed what this selection was, it updated this one. So that shows you that these are linked components. So if I was to delete that one there, you'll see that this one now updates. So it's really, really quite powerful. Um, this is only the first release of it. It's well into, put into uh, development stages. They've got a bunch of other improvements lined up for it. Um, so yeah, it's worth noting that uh, two things. One, that is available in everything. So this new user interface is available in every single toolpath except for the drilling. And if you go into preferences, it is not, not possible to revert to 
the old method of selection. There's uh, architecture limitations that prevented it from being feasible. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to flag all of the community members to uh, not freak out when they see this new user interface and uh, learn to work with it and leverage it.